<laughs> Welcome back, y'all, to the 5 nothing 100 nothing com channel. I am Fergit. And that stands for the funniest underread redneck guru using the litter of tactics. And today, guys, we got five more tips, right? So get ready. Have yourself a seat. Ho hopefully you popped a cold one and you're ready for Freddy. <laughs> All right. I love you guys. Let me tell you something from the bottom of my heart. I'm so thankful. I'm a grateful man. My pastor told me, you know, you got to have an attitude of gratitude. And by God, I've got one of them. All right. So I even looked it up on the Google. And uh, yeah, so I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm a happy, happy baby. <laughs> Mama's uh, enter, entering her uh, second trimester, you know. Starting to show again. Between you and me. I thought she was showing when I met her. <laughs> <coughs> Hold on. Too much chew in my mouth. All right. So here's what we got, guys. All right. Five. Now, this is relevant to me. And, you know, all the gurus tell you, you know, if you want to have, like, good content, you got to speak from the heart. You got to be real. You know, you can't just, like, um, make up topics and whatnot, you know, based on, you know, uh, what, like, the Google Trends or any of this nonsense says. You got to, like, you got to go to the well of your heart and you got to dig deep and you got to pick up some topics. And I got this topic because it's relevant to me, all right? So here we go, right? So here's my five tips, right, on if you suspect there's a bun in the oven. <laughs> so here's what we got, you guys, all right? You ready? Now, tip number one, you got to get one of them tests, all right? So here's the thing. I mean, you don't know what's going on, right? So what do they call it? A gluten intolerance, right, or incompetence test? Yeah, because if, if you've got a gluten incompetence, you can't be eating no bread. Mm -mm. No, you stay away from that. That's like poison to you. I mean, I remember I had a, a cousin and he used to eat like the Wonder Bread and he gets sick as a dog. And we're like, what in, what in the hell's wrong with you? Right? He'd be puking. He'd be shitting out the other. Like every end is losing like something. And we're just like, what is wrong with this boy, right? Well, years later, a few brain cells dead. He don't know if he's coming or going, you know? We took my cousin over to the doc. Doc's like, testing him, right? Sends him over to the nutritionalist. That's what they call him, right? Nutritionalist. And he said, you know, this boy has got a gluten incompetence. And that just means he can't eat no bread. And I'm like, hot damn. Good lord and a quarter. Who the hell could... You can't live your life like that. I mean, that's anti-American. That's anti-Christian. I mean, Jesus said man can't live by bread alone, right? So you think about that? Mm-mm. I'm going to tell you what happened to him, but at the end of the day, if you can't eat bread, you ain't American in my book. So that's one, right? That's my story about that. You get one of them tests. You make sure you don't have a gluten incompetence, right? Number two, and this is an easy one, but it's so funny because common sense ain't so damn common. That's what the Bible says, all right? Now, is the oven on? Is that oven on? Did you even check to see if the oven was on, right? Now, that's assuming that you paid your electric bill. Now, so I don't mean no disrespect to none of you that, you know, didn't pay your bill or you thought, you know, you were going to pick up your check and uh, you'd be able to pay that bill on time and whatnot. So I'm not trying to, you know, uh, shame anyone and nothing like that. You know, that's what all my advertisers told me. I shouldn't be shaming nobody because, you know, like the social justice police and, and that was going to like, you know, get me and take away my hard-earned Benjamins, you know, the Benjis, baby. Is that what the rappers say? <laughs> I'm rolling in the dough, baby. Let me tell you about it. I've been, like, just sitting there, and I'm just like, pow, 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 pow. 
well, you know, that's what I used to do before I became a, a father of several now. And, um, you know, I'm not sitting there making it rain no more. That, that was the old days, you know. Now, you know, Mama and I, we role play a little bit, you know, and I'll make it rain on Mama. So, that's another story, though. She told me not to talk about her anymore on this channel, but, you know, sometimes it's just irrelevant. It's irrelevant content, you know. You know what I mean? All right. So, that's that's the thing, you know. Check that oven. Is it on? If it ain't on, you ain't, make, you ain't gonna bake no bread. You ain't baking no buns in that, in that oven, all right? And so, that's number two. Number three, do you smell bread cooking, right? Now, I don't know how many of you know who The Rock is. Dwayne Johnson, the biggest damn movie star in the world, right? But he used to say a thing, if you smell what the rock is cooking. Well, that's not what I'm saying. That's not what old Fergit, Uncle Fergit saying to you. I'm saying, do you smell the bread cooking? Forget about Dwayne Johnson, all right? Forget him. He wishes, he wishes that he was in my shoes, all right? And if you have his number, you want to talk to him, you tell him. You tell him old Fergit's like calling him out. I'm calling him out, baby. You want some? Come get some, Dwayne. <laughs> what kind of name is Dwayne? Well, I had an uncle. Never mind. I had an uncle Dwayne. I don't want to disrespect no family and all. I mean, my uncle Dwayne, you know, he uh, he had some issues, you know, with the moonshine. And uh, I thank God for him. I pray for it. I prayed for him every day. You know, he lived and died for this country. His liver died for this country. <laughs> it's one of my bad jokes, I know. I know, it's going to get me in trouble with the family. At the family reunion, I'm probably not going to get any hookups there because of that. But that's what I'm talking about, all right? So, if you don't smell no bread cooking, you know, ain't going to do you no good. Mm -mm. Check that electric bill. Make sure you paid. You know, check that line to the trailer and see what's going on. That's what I'm talking about. All right, guys, number four. Let's stay on track with the tips, all right? Um, is there a sink full of dishes? You know, I mean, well, more than normal, because usually I know there's a lot of dishes in there and whatnot, especially as mama was in her third trimester. I mean, them dishes might sit there for a little while, but you can't take that personal. You know, you just tell mama, don't worry about it. You you just go and rest and you drink your beer, smoke your cigarettes. Don't worry about it. You know, you just nurture that little baby. You nurture that little, that little baby that's coming up, that little blessing from the Lord himself, right? So, yeah. But if there ain't no dishes in there, then you know that there ain't no bread cooking neither, right? All right, and number five, all right, let's talk about this. It's the simplest one ever. Did you ask mama, right, if there was any buns in the oven? So if mama didn't cook, you know, if, she, if she's not cooking, who else is, right? Because that's what mama does. Mama does all the cooking in the house, and it's just, it's, it's, it's kind of rhetorical, you know, it's red, red, Nicole. red, yeah, you know what I mean. So, anyways, that's my five tips. And, um, I don't know, I shouldn't have made this video when I'm hangry, you know, I'm a little hungry. You know, daddy's got a little hunger going on. You know, I've been popping out babies, I've been doing lots of humping. You know, I've been standing in line to get my check, I've been getting them cans and bottles. And, uh, you know, so I'm sorry if I came off a little bit, you know, honorary in this vid video. But, you know, that's just the way it is. Things will never be the same. That's what P. Diddy said, baby. <laughs> it's, one of my, it's one of my homies, right? One of my homeboys, right? Because of the hip-hop and all that stuff, right? So, anyways, y'all. I love you. Pray for you every day. I thank God for you. And I thank God that you lived and died for this country. I pray that you continue to watch the video. Continue to support. Forget the family popping out babies like it's 1999 as the princess said <laughs> all right yo i love you take care share like subscribe subscribe and i'll talk to you again soon you guys take care bye bye